Hi guys, welcome back to part two of this video series on determining leaf damage from various sources on your orchids. Uh, in this one we are going to touch base on insect damage and what sun damage looks like on your orchid leaves. So I'm going to start with this guy here. And this plant unfortunately doesn't have any sun or it doesn't have any insect damage. In my greenhouse I try to keep the insects to a minimum and insect damage is hard to come by, but I do have some insect damage on the flower. So I'm going to show you the insect damage on the flower and we're going to just pretend it's insect damage on the leaf because it would look very similar. Alright guys, before we get started on this um, video, I just wanted to recommend that if you haven't seen the first video in this series of determining orchid leaf damage, be sure to check that out in the annotations below. And we'll move on to part two here. So, I didn't have any insect damage on any orchid leaves, but I did have some insect damage on this flower of this Mastevalia. I'm going to guess that a slug or a snail has crawled up here, but you can see the, um, the damage itself has almost healed. You can tell it's just been gnawed away. It's still a very healthy flower. The damage from insects generally doesn't um, make the whole leaf or flower turn yellow, so you may, it may just have some sort of gnawed appearance. And you can see some thin spots where the webbing is still almost actually together there and how just some of the color is missing. So if this was an orchid leaf you could imagine it would be a very similar look to it just on the leaf instead of the flower. Alright moving on this is a dendrobium and it looks like it's actually got a little bit of sun damage to it in the last few weeks. Um, all of a sudden this new growth that came out with the, the sun that came last week it almost bleached out a little bit. It's a very, very light color. So one of the ways you can tell sun damage on an orchid is the orchid leaf is actually going to become quite pale, um, quite yellowy compared to the rest of the leaves on the plant. It generally happens easier with new growth like this. And judging from these little dots that are on the leaf, I'm going to guess not only did it get some sun damage, but some water got on the leaves when it was um, in the sun and the water actually acted almost like a magnifying glass and burnt the little pits into the leaves. I don't doubt that this um, pseudobulb will continue to grow undamaged, um, but I'm going to try to reduce it from the, the light a little bit. So you can see these leaves here that were probably back a little bit. They're a darker green. Still not a deep, deep green, just a nice healthy green. This one, being it's a lighter green, it's telling me that it definitely can't handle any more sun. And make sure you don't spray it with water when it is in direct sun or you'll get those little pits and unfortunately once you have those little pits they're never going to heal so that leaf is going to look like that now for for a long time and the reason I believe that it is sun damage on these little pits is because it basically happened overnight the the new growth on this was perfect and then I come back a day later and there's those little spots on it Alright guys, so that is part two out of four of this video series on how to determine leaf damage on your orchids. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, and make sure you check out the other three videos.